Artificial intelligence is currently one of the most transformative technologies, especially in the field of art and content creation. The rise of AI has introduced a new era where creativity and technology intersect, allowing everyone from beginners to professional to generate a stunning visuals and content with ease. So guys, in this tutorial on AI art generation, we are going to explore how to effectively use these tools from selecting the right platforms to refining your prompts for the best results. You will also learn how to combine different AI tools to enhance your images and how to use AI generated art in various contexts like in social media, blogs or professional portfolios. So guys, with that said, I welcome you all in today's video. But before I move on, I request you guys that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for further updates. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Just a quick info, guys, before we move on, Simply Learn has got Applied Generative AI Specialization course, where you're going to learn to deploy and develop Gen AI enabled applications. You are also going to master generative AI with this cutting edge AI applied course with Purdue University and Simply Learn. So guys, this course, you're going to explore prompt engineering, large language models, attention mechanisms, RAG, and many more. So guys, hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So let's get started. So guys, let's start with understanding first, what is an AI art? AI art, which is also known as generative art, is made up of artificial intelligence. Unlike digital art, where human artists create the work using their skills, AI art is actually produced by computers. You basically provide a text description and an AI which has been trained on vast collection of images and text. It also generates a complete artwork based on your input. And the result is an image created by an algorithm that understands both visuals and language, turning your words into a finished piece of art. Now you'd be wondering, how does these AI generators work? So guys, these AI art generators create images from text using advanced technologies like deep learning algorithm and generative adversarial networks or GANs. When a user basically types in a series of descriptive words, the AI takes the input and based on the training, it generates an image that matches your description. During its training, the AI analyzes massive amount of photos, learning about various characteristics like shapes, styles, colors, and more. This allows the AI to replicate colors, textures, subject, and even mimic the styles of famous artists. Quite interesting. But some of the AI art generators perform better than others, often because they were trained on larger datasets, and this type of AI is also plays a very important role. Now, the two main open source AI programs are DALI by OpenAI, who are the creators of ChatGPT and Stable Diffusion. They are also closed source systems like Midjourney and Adobe's Firefly. Now let's move on and try to understand how to make an AI art. With the rapid rise in the popularity of AI, art generators, there are many options to create your own masterpiece. Among the best are Jasper, Midjourney, and Leonardo AI, which offers the top-notch features, but they come under the paid tools. We'll also guide you to some of the other tools which are free, like we have the Canva AI, we have Nightcap AI, and Crayon AI. So guys, in particular, these tools are good at producing landscapes, product shots, food images, and many more, making it an ideal choice for bloggers and also for content creators. Now let us discuss some of the top-notch tools. The first one that we have all over here is Midjourney AI. So guys, this is an official website of Midjourney AI. And now they have changed their name to Imagine Art. In some of the instances, these are the image which are generated by Midjourney have been so realistic that they have been even fooling the experts in photography and other fields. Well, it sounds kind of naive, but yes, it did. You will likely come across convincing AI generated images on social media like you can see Pope Francis wearing a puffer jacket or a fabricated image of Trump being arrested before the real event actually happened. Additionally, AI creativity shines in unique generation such as Star Wars scenes, imagine styles of Wes Anderson showcasing how AI can blend in different artistic styles and in surprising ways. So guys, you can see this, this is a med journey. The first thing is you have to go for the sign in. Okay, so you can just continue with your Google account and click on continue. So guys, 
Now, you, as you can see all over here, this is basically a paid platform, okay? So, when you are trying to create like text to image, okay, suppose you want to create this. So, suppose uh, they will be giving you some of the free tokens, say, a dog on Mars. And if I want to generate the images, so as you can see all over here, it has successfully generated, but you have some free tokens all over here. So, you can utilize this to do it. And... Uh, Similarly, it's going to give you a lot of alternative way to do it and this is one of the best and there are more of the things that you can find like AI video, you can create your own AI videos such that like this one, you can see the resolution here is so nice, let's try to open this video and you can see like how AI is really really brainstorming like fooling us that this is actually a real video. So this is how the beauty of mid journey is and you can do a lot of things all over here so there are a lot of features but the thing is it's actually a paid tool so if you want to fully utilize this tool then you have to pay for it. Let us see what are the pricings of uh, this tool so say if you want to upgrade you can see for the standard they are giving you for eight dollars per month okay for premium version they are giving you around thirteen dollars per month and for professional it's for ten dollars per month. So this is a pricing for mid journey. Now let us look at our next tool. So you, as you can see all over here, this is a Jasper AI. It's also a powerful tool for creating or generating images with the help of artificial intelligence. All you need to do is provide some quick simple inputs and Jasper will generate original high quality content or an image tailored for your needs. It is basically a versatile capable tools for creating various type of contents like your blog post images okay you can create a product description and a product image and you can see all over here these are the kind of images it's creating and let us open this image but before that you have to log in and sign up so say let us start with a free trial for jasper so as you can see all over here for freelancers and solopreneurs it is charging around 39 dollars per month for experts it's 59 dollars per month and uh, Let's, it has, you know, if you want some of your customization, it is showing this. It is similar like mid journey, what we have shown the features and uh, provided that it's also a very awesome tool, but it is pretty much at a high end as if we compare the pricing. Now, it is also a kind of a very user friendly and a solid choice for businesses of all sizes. One of Jasper's standout feature is its brand voice. Basically, it allows users to integrate their unique brand identity into the AI generated content. This ensures that the content which Jasper is creating matches the company's tone, style, and overall brand identity. Jasper can even learn specific details about the company, such as what are the product catalogs, audience preferences, and key talking. So it's overall most of, you can think, like in preference to the businesses, and it is also one of the most amazing tools. Now, let us move on to our third tool. So guys, this is Leonardo AI. It is also an image generator which is not to be confused with famous Leos like Da Vinci or DiCaprio but still making waves in the world of AI art. Originally it was designed to help users to create gaming assets but Leonardo.ai has since evolved into full-scale AI content creation service offering not just image tools but also AI driven video creation and editing services. Leonardo.ai is a strong contender among various AI powered tools standing on par with Adobe Firefly and significantly outperforming options like Google's ImageFX and Canva. It's particularly good at following prompts accurately even more so than mid-journey also. Though it does not offer as many advanced editing tools, making is a choice between the matter of preferences. While OpenAI's DALI 3 remains highly ranked, but you will need to pay for ChatGPT Plus to access it. But in contrast, Leonardo.ai offers a comprehensive free plan, making it an appealing option for those looking to explore AI content creation without the cost. And it's also a very amazing tool. So guys, now let us explore some of the free tools that are available all over the internet. The first one that is Creon. So Creon is also a very free tool. So you can type any command such as, let us check out, white unicorn. Horse in Springfield. Okay, this is a random image generation. Okay, prompt which I have given. Let us see how does it generates. So, if I ask about 
So you can see it's still all over here. It's drawing. And you can see a lot of ads also coming up because it's a free tool. So uh, this is the way of their monetization. And it might take some time. So you can see all over here, there are a lot of images shown by here. But it is kind of a free tool and you can see it's not so user friendly and it's, it's not so good also. But still, if uh, you wanted something like, uh, so you can see all over here, the image has been generated all over here. So this is pretty good, but still as to the tools, but when comparing to tools like mid journey, okay, it's, it doesn't stand that well good. Now let us explore our second free tool that is happier AI. Now it's UI looks pretty better as compared to the other one. And uh, let us type something like create image of pond with alligators and fishes okay plain in 8 so so let us see how does this creates but they have their beta version also and I think so you can upgrade this and it's definitely going to offer some better services as compared to the other tools. So let us just wait. So guys, as you can see all over here, it has taken certain a long amount of time to create this image, but it looks pretty much better. Uh, the quality is also pretty nice. So you can see it has the capability to create an art. Provided you have to give the right prompts, that's only one thing. So it's a very rare scenario where alligators and fishes are playing, but no, that's a random imagination. So that's one thing. It's a very nice tool. You can see there are a lot of features all over here. So suppose all over here it takes you to the home page and there are certain kind of images like uh, videos basically it has created. So you can check out this tool. It is also pretty awesome as an open source. Now let us move to our final tool that is Night Cafe. It is also a, one of the most amazing tools and it is available for free. So guys, you can create something like this all over here. So there's a beautiful ancient Sakura tree in front of a lake, okay? So suppose this is what is, and let us just try to create with this prompt. And you can see all over here. So you have to continue with the Google, sign in all over here. And now they have made it kind of a paid version, I think so. You get certain amount of credits to create images. So with more number of accounts, you can definitely access it for free. But for uh, if you go for the paid version, so you get a lot of uh, really benefits like your image generation is faster, you get high quality and a lot of other tools you are going to get. So you can see the text prompt was a beautiful ancient Sakura tree in front of a lake, mountains and Japanese temple in the background. So you can see such a beautiful image this uh, tool has created. So that's what the beauty of AI tool, you know, it can craft your imagination into one of the most interesting pieces and definitely looks very appealing. So a lot of content creators, bloggers are using this and they are definitely doing great stuff with these tools. Now let us try to understand what are the best practices for making AI art. The first and foremost is crafting a good prompt. So as you can see all over here, you should mention a prompt something like this. Suppose if I say, I wanted to create an Assassin's Creed character, okay? And what kind of style I want to put it on. So I just said video game style and the image should be sharp. And it is detailed, fine grain, blue and green shades are given up. You need to have a sharp focus, cinematic lightning, studio photography. This is more about knowledge that you have about how, what are the things that are required in a photograph. And you can see all over here, the image is looking very sharp. You know, it is detailed and it's definitely very appealing. So you need to craft a very good prompt which include these kind of styles and features. Then only these uh, image generating tools are going to craft your images. The next thing which I found uh, more interesting is combining different platforms. For instance, uh, as you can see all over here, this is a bus, okay, a truck, and this was created on Leonardo AI. Then this file was imported to Photoshop. So you can see the tone has increased in this uh, picture. And uh, afterwards, it's looking more like a uh, solid and a little bit a more in-depth tone for these images. So you can combine platforms for creating the images and you can see some diverse results also. And uh, the, this is one of the technique I generally follow. And you should also try this. Definitely there are better results for this. 
The third one that comes up to my mind is experimenting with the styles. So you should always experiment uh, the images with the styles, different styles are present. Just try to incorporate it and try to test and experiment mostly. So uh, with these three paradigms, you can definitely get some unique results and definitely it is going to make your image a lot more better. So guys, that was all for today's video. I hope so. You would have enjoyed our today's video on AI art generation at Simply Learn. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.